Welcome to Citrix Workflow Studio Templates. In this video, I'm going to show how to create a new workflow using an existing workflow template. So let's select Citrix Zen Server Start Selected Virtual Machine on a Zen Server. And let's give it a name Demo. And hit OK. The purpose of the demo workflow is to list all the virtual machines on my Zen Server which are currently not started and give user a choice to start there. Now let's take a look at the user options. The first one is for the IP address of the Zen server. The second one is the username and the third one is for the password. Now the get VM task takes password, username, the Zen server name as the input and has an output variable called Zen VMs, which is the collection of all the VMs. The user option task has an output variable called selected VMs and an input variable called Zen VMs from the previous get VMs. This gives a user a list of all the VMs which are currently halted and given a choice, he can start those VMs. Next, the for each object has an input variable selected VMs from a user options and a variable selected VM. If we drill down, we see a function where we have a task called user decision, which is simply a yes or no saying, hey, do you really want to start this virtual machine or not? And finally, if the answer is yes, we will start the virtual machine, which takes the input variable again as a username, password, the selected virtual machine, and the Zen server IP address. Now if we go one level up and start the workflow, it started, we will get an option to input the IP address of the Zen server. So let's enter it and hit OK. Next will give me an option for the username which was root and the next option is for the password. So if I enter my password and hit OK, it will get all the virtual machines which are currently not started in my Zen server. So I'm going to switch back to my Zen server and you can take a look that there are four virtual machines which are currently stopped. And if I switch back and select one of the virtual machines which has been 2k3 and hit OK and say yes I really want to start it and switch back to my Zen server I should see that this virtual machine went 2k3 should start oh, there you go so we have seen we can automate the workflows so one of the use cases you can select all the virtual machines maybe they can start with a name or an IP address and you can just start them or stop them at your will now so let's go back if we look at the results section we can see each activity and see the results for each activity and you can drill down so this concludes the video for getting started with the workflow templates. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you in future videos. Thank you.